Hey guys, Scott from RecordingSolution.com. Welcome to another video. Uh, today I want to talk about using maybe a mono delay on a vocal or anything, but particularly here on a vocal instead of like a stereo wide reverb or stereo delay. Because let me play this mix without the vocal and you're going to hear a lot of ambient things going on. A lot of instruments have a lot of reverb and cool little delays. So there's a lot of stuff going on in your stereo field with effects and when you bring in the vocals, sometimes what you don't need in a mix is another track, this instance being a vocal, to have another delay effect and another something washing it out. So here's the song without the vocal, and uh, you'll hear the ambience here. Super ambient song, which is what I was going for. And I'm going to bring in the vocal. And right now it says vocal slap. Uh, it's not really a slap. I have a EQ here just rolling off the low end and high end and boosting a little mid range of my reverb channel. So I have my ma main vocal channel here. And then this vocal slap is what I had on there at first, but I, I don't have a slap now. But it's my effects channel for my vocal. It's just an aux track. So you would create uh this is stereo so i would create one stereo and then make it a aux track create i'm not gonna do that because i already have it but that's what this is and it's feeding out to my vocal sub bus here for the vocals and i'm sending a copy of the original vocal to this uh reverb which i have from slate digital let's see here it's just a verb suite classics rich hall but here's what it sounds like right now with the song. I don't want to be alone tonight. I don't want to go down that road. My crazy mind. All I'm going to do is think of us. All I'm going to do is be myself up. All through the night. It's a... So that's a stereo wide reverb. It's got a pre delay on it to make it sound far back. But I kind I'm kind of leaning to a mono delay to still add some effect and ambience, but have it a mono source. You see right here, I set up the same aux track, and I put a dynamic delay on there, and I set a delay, tweaked it. But it's, see how the pan knob here? It's just off to the left a little bit as opposed to the original one, which is stereo. So let me mute or just not mute it, but here's the new send to the new track. And here's a little soloed vocal with a mono delay. I don't want to be alone tonight. I don't want to go down that road. My crazy mind. All I'm gonna do is think of us All I'm gonna do is be myself up All through the night It's a wrong turn, it's a red light It's flooding gates on my mind These memories will burn a hole right through me It's a wish I could change this and change that but can't. Anyways, you see what I'm going for? Sometimes you don't need more ambient stuff, more stereo stuff. Sometimes you might want to play around with a mono effect. So I wanted to show you that. So next time, try a mono delay. Try a mono reverb. Uh, I know Taylor Swift's mixer. I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now, but I watched the interview. I think all he uses is mono delays and mono reverbs on Taylor Swift's voice. Because a lot of the other tracks are in stereo. A lot of the other things are happening are in stereo. If you make everything stereo, you're not going to have uh, pinpointed uh, results that you're looking for. Everyone, Everything's going to be competing with the stereo field. So play around with that. I'm not saying I'm going to keep this mono, but I'm, and I might tweak this a little more to sound more uh, ambient and... 
uh, in context with the, the style that I had on the reverb that was stereo. But I just wanted to show you that little trick. So all you do, again, is you set up a aux track, mono, aux, and then create the inputs, send a copy of the voice or a guitar or whatever it is to that track, and then blend into the taste with that sin that is right here. Blend, blend it to taste into your song and have fun. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Scott from TheRecordingSolution.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Grab the free ebook, and you'll also be on my email list where I'll send you free training weekly. You won't miss anything. Uh, join the growing tribe there. A lot of people are getting some value. I get emails all the time. Thank you guys for watching and writing me back and commenting on the on the uh, YouTube videos. I appreciate it. I uh, just want to help as many people as I can, so become part of the tribe. Thanks for watching. Scott from TheRecordingSolution.com. See you next time.